Hello and welcome to another free BSD tutorial. Today I will show you how to mount one hard disk drive and one USB drive into the system. I will also cover how to make this mounting process automatic during startup and how to make some drives not automated but will make them simplified during mounting. So to start with I would like to show you how to make a manual mount. First of all, we need to have a category to mount the device on. So if I go to my road category, I always fix it a disk called the uh, my disk. And it's not a disk, it's a category. So now I'm going to mount a device into this disk. If I make ls my disk, it, it will be empty because it's just an empty folder. So I do like this. Mount is the command for mounting. And then I'm going to take the source, uh, so the device I want to mount. Now I know that it's under dev and it's named DA0S1D. And then I just mount it into the directory I want to mount it on. So it's in this case it's my disk. Press return. So, to simplify all this, mount is the command. And then it takes the source, the drive, as an argument. And the next argument is the folder category we want to mount it on. This is called a mount point. So if I look inside of my disk now, I see that I have my files there, which I had on the hard disk drive partition. So everything functions there. So I want to, so now I want to unmount this one. The command is not unmount, but it's near, it's umount, it's this command. So you just need to make umount and the, and the path, either the drive or the mounting point. So it could be umount my disk. I'm going to make an error that is very common. Imagine if I stand inside of this category and I want to unmount the disk. So now I'm inside of the category and then I want to unmount so I make you mount and uh, uh, the root of my disk the mounting point and it sends uh, that the device is busy this is just because that I'm standing in the drive so if I just step out of it by going back to root or another category and I make you mount my disk now it succeeded and if I look inside of my disk now the, the folder my disk you see it's empty because we were removing the mounting. So to summarize it, mount mounts the, uh, the disk and you mount unmounts it to remove it from the mounting point so we cannot access it anymore. So what about if we have an, um, like if we have a USB, USB memory, this is, uh, I think this is the most common thing that you will mount a lot of time. Then we do like this. Uh, since I'm in VMware Workstation, I need to tell the VMware Workstation that I want to connect my device to the to the machine. So I, you just go to removable devices, SanDisk, uh, for example, my name, my disk is named in SanDisk, the USB memory, then I connect it. Okay, this you don't need to do this if you run real hardware, then it's just to plug it in. Uh, okay, so this is the first message you will encounter. This is not an error message itself. It, it won't generate any errors. Uh, this is what you get when you plug in a memory. Just press return. But GM was informing us here that uh, we have um, a device named DA1 under dev. We can look if it's true. And here it is. And it also have a slice also a partition. We're going to mount DA1S1, which is our USB memory, into a, a folder, to a mounting point. So to start with, uh, I make sure that I am uh, I have a folder first of all, I clear up here so we have a clean screen. And I want to make a mounting point now, call it USB uh, memory. This is a folder I make to start with to have it and there we have it, USB memory. And now I'm going to mount by the command mount. And now it's a little bit different. Now we're going to mount a foreign file system. 
you use the T option and MS dose FS, which is for the FAT and FAT32 uh, file systems. And then we need the mounting point, which was the dev DA1S1. And then we need the mounting point, which is uh, the USB memory folder. Now we just press return. And the USB memory has been mounted. So if I look inside of the category USB memory, I can find my files I have on my memory stick. Okay, uh, so now I'm going to unmount it. I don't need it anymore. So U mount, and then I can take the folder USB memory. And then if we look again, it's unmounted. So, what if we want the, the hard disk to be automatic mounted during startup? Because we don't want to type this command each time the computer starts. Uh, you simply make it by modifying a file which you found, find under etc and it's called fstub. Uh, it's this file. When you open it, you find all the mounting devices, mounting point and what file system and the option. So I'm going to mount the hard disk drive and it was dev da0s1d if I remember it correctly. And now I'm just pressing tab so I arrive here. It's the mounting point and it was the root my disk where I want to attach the drive on. So this means I want to attach this drive to this folder which is the mounting point. And uh, this is a hard disk which used the Unix file system. So it's uh, I tab here to make UFS. And here's I go to the options here. Here we have the permission options like if I should be able to mount it as read and writable. I want to read and write to it so I make RW. You might notice that the CD-ROM drive has no auto. What this does is that this will make the um, uh, this will make the uh, uh, it will make so when you reboot the system it will not automatically mount it but we can mount it by making mount slash CD-ROM and it will mount according to this information I will take and show you so I don't confuse you right now about it so we just focus on this disk first so I want to read and write to it and the next information here is like the dump is uh, what dump actually is it's a program which is a uh, uh, it's a it's a, it's a file system backup uh, to make a dump of the file system and being able to restore it. So it's a backup um, service that we have. And if you make a zero here, it makes that we don't want to make any dump backups on this one. And uh, if you make a number higher than zero, it's the uh, it's the schedule number, like how many days between making a dump on the file system. In this case, I don't want to make any uh, dump to it, so I make a zero here. And uh, this other one, pass field, is the um, when it's going to make an in integrity check during startup. So it's a priority list here. So the, uh, the road has number one, as you can see up here. It's that this will be the first disk to make integrity check on during startup. And Number two is a number two priority, so it will start with the, the lowest number and continue. So I can make a number two here in priority. In other words, um, this is all the information that you need to put here. And uh, you can go back and change it later if you want to change the, uh, the dumpability of it. Uh, or if you for the backup system so when this is done now you simply 
make a write and quit this to save the changes to the file. Now when you restart it will automatically mount the device to that uh, point but if you want to mount the device very simple you have some of the options here you can make mount with an option a this will mount everything from fstub if i make this it will mount the disk to the drive also the ones that has not been mounted before so mount a command will mount everything according to the fstab list so if i look inside of uh, my disk you can see that it has been mounted another way to make mounting from the FS tab is simply I'm going to unmount this drive first it's simply like this mount and then either the device name or the source name so mount my disk this will uh, when you make this command it will check the FS tab for this mounting point and when it finds the mounting point it will mount according to the FS tab information. So if I look again under my disk, it has been mounted.